Hi y'all, welcome to my channel and on this video we are going to invite you to do a lesson with us in the Good and the Beautiful's new Simply Good and Beautiful map level one. <laughs> so stay tuned. Alright you guys, well if you are new, welcome to my channel, Pursuing Peace. My name is Dina and this is... Solomon. Solomon? Not the Solomon in the Bible. Yeah, not the Solomon in the Bible. <laughs> but he is his own Solomon. And I am a homeschooling mama of five kiddos, seven and under. And on this channel, I share my passions for Christ, for homeschooling, and for encouraging mamas in their faith. And in this amazing, even though it can be a little bit <laughs> crazy. <laughs> It is still an amazing season of motherhood. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, then click the subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. You can also follow us over on Instagram at Dina underscore Pursuing Peace if you'd like to get an inside glimpse on what goes around on around here on a daily basis. <laughs> this is a lot of what goes on around here on a daily basis. Okay, you guys, so like I said before, we are going to do a lesson today from the Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 1. I do have lessons from the Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level K and Level 2. If you'd like to take a look at those, I will leave them down in the description box below. Um, but this is Level 1, and this was the last level that we got. Um, and we have already started it because we are going for, this is our third, e third week of school, so we have already started it. So this will not be the first lesson lesson like um, it was with my other videos but this is going to be lesson eight and so we have already like I said already started it so what do you think of your math so far do you like this math well I have a favorite game you have a favorite game already what is it that's my island that's my island so he um we when did we play that we played that just a couple of days ago right um my, maybe it was like like two, two days ago? Two, two days ago. Yeah, so it's a little game on there, super simple. I give him a boat and we do math problems and whenever the math problem equals the um, island that I have chosen secretly, then I scream, that's my island, you know, and he puts his boat on it. And so it's really simple, really easy, but he has loved that game and he actually uh, made his own version of it with his sisters. What is it? That's my tent. That's my tent. <laughs> So they did that in their room. And so it's been really great. We have loved this one so far. Now today, I'm not gonna flip through it for you, but The Good and the Beautiful has a very, very good flip through um, of the different lessons and examples of the different lessons on their YouTube channel. And I will leave that video linked down in my description box also, so you can go and check this out. Um, I also want to thank The Good and the Beautiful for sponsoring this video. Um, thank you so much. This math has been amazing amazing for us and we have been able to do it quickly and efficiently and like you've seen he is really enjoying it and all my kids are really enjoying their new math so without any further ado I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to do a lesson yep <laughs> okay so here we have the math activity box and the math level one um, we have his bin right here and I have a video about how I organize all of their homeschool curriculum and supplies in this bin so everything is ready to go. Over here we are sharing the table today with my oldest. She is um, making a little stuffed animal I think over there. So if you see anything over here that's what's happening. <laughs> Um, and so we are going to jump right into this lesson. So this uh, math activity box, you know guys, this has been one of my favorite ones so far that they've come out with because, go ahead and open it. So it just slides right open. But something that I love that I thought was just brilliant on their part was that they made a magnetic whiteboard. Oh. And when I saw this on their video about the flip um, of the flip through and everything, I was like just blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, that is brilliant. That is just absolutely brilliant. A magnetic whiteboard. And I'll, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and all of these pieces are magnetic. And then again, like math two, they've got the clock out here in front. 
So that's like, been really like, nice. Like Abby's. Like Did you Abby's. know that? Yes, they've already seen it. So like that. And so we've just loved having this board here with all of the different magnetic um, and little fake money here. Fake money. And so in here we've got this die that is a left and right die. Then we've got a normal die right here. We've got all of these cute little wooden boats. Um, and they all have numbers on them. See that one's 16. And then we've got clocks that are front and back. I actually <laughs> actually got a little bit frustrated one time because I was like, oh no, it doesn't have one. I'm missing one. And then I'm like, oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what? So I, just... I was just shy of like calling the company. <laughs> And actually, Solomon is the one that turned it around and showed me that. <laughs> then we've got some more, um, just yeah. different shapes and stuff over here on this side. And so that's everything in the math Whoa. activity box. Get, get. All right, so he's going to close that up. And now we're going to look in here. And we are going to do lesson eight right here. Um, for a lot of these, I don't have him do it, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do this. This little review box here, um, if they already know all of these, don't even worry about doing it. I have skipped these a few times, um, just depending on what you think that specific child knows. Like for instance, right today I'm gonna go ahead and skip the um, counting by tens because we he, I know that he already knows how to do that and this is something that we do as part of our memory work in CC, so um, I'm not gonna make him do that again. But I do want to watch the months of the year song. He knows the months of the year, but I think it's just fun to watch it, right? You want to watch it? February, February, March, April, May, June, July. Oh, we like seeing this. August, September, <laughs> October, November, December. Twelve months. Oh, look, I didn't see that nest. <laughs> Okay, and now it says to draw seven tally marks. So, Bubs, can you just draw seven tally marks here for me? Seven. Seven tally marks, please. Seven tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Okay, so can you write the number 14 for me? Four. Just like right here, write the number 14. With not tally marks? No, no tally marks, that's right. That's right. Just write one, good. <laughs> He's changed his four up. He likes to do the one now that's the pointy four, not the other one. <laughs> okay, 14, remember this, remember our place value? So can you point to the one that's in the ones place? Remember there's a ones place and a tens place. Which one is in the ones place? Um, hmm? um. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So if you have 14, which one would be in the ones place? Um, 14? The, the, well? Seven. No, okay. Okay, so remember over here, so the eight is in the ones place and the one is in the tens place, right? So with the 14, which one's in the ones place? Um, 14. Okay, it's number 14. But is the one in the ones place or the four in the ones place? Four in the ones place? Yes, yes. Four. If four is in the ones place, then what is in the tens place? Um, ten, ten, one. One. Good, 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 good job. Good job. That was a little bit tricky. Okay, so that's all for that review chart. Okay, so let's look at this big chart right here, Bubs, okay? Let's look at this big chart. Can you read this read this along with me? Let's So, you don't no, just follow along with your eyes. Ready? Let's practice counting by fives. When we skip count or count by a number, we add the same number over and over. So to count by fives, we add 5 each time. So let's see how that works on the chart below. So look at this chart below. Using any color you want, color in every fifth number starting at five. Okay, so let's see, what color? Go ahead and pick a color, just one color, Bubs. Oh, you can give me that. Can we do my, uh, the, the color that 
That's about to be my favorite. Okay, what's about to be your favorite? Oh, nice. Okay. So, can you color every other... Oh, and wait, this is purple. Oh, yeah. Color every fifth and this, number. And this, and this, and this, and this, so, if and I... This, look, Bob. This, this. Solomon. Color every fifth number. So, you're going to start at five. Okay? It's like counting by fives. Can you count by fives for me real quick? Five. Oh, I didn't even have these kitty. Uh-huh. Five. Ten. Fifty. Twenty. Twenty-five, thirty. Good. Okay. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Good, good. Okay. So let's start at five. So color in the number five. Okay. So now we're going to copy every or color every fifth number. Okay. So after five, if you're counting by five, what's the next number? Um. If you're counting by five, what is the next number? Five? Ten. Ten. Very good. Go ahead and color in the number ten. So what's next? Five, ten. Fifteen. 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 Color in fifteen. Look, so look. do you see a pattern? If you're counting by fives, all the numbers end in what? The same... Yeah, so all of I, these I, numbers... I can look at this. Zero, zero, zero. That's right. Five, five, five. That's right. One, one, one. Yeah, that's right, Bob. So all, if you're counting by fives, though, only by fives, then all of the numbers end in either five or zero. All of them, if you're counting by fives. So let's take your pencil here. Four. Give me your crayon. Thank you. And can you fill in the missing Ten. numbers here, if you're counting by five? Ten. Ten. So go ahead and fill that in. Good. Put a hat on. Good. And now you're going to do this row. Start over again. The, the same thing? The same thing. Five, ten. So it's just like counting by fives. Can you count by fives? Five. Ten. Now I know. <laughs> Good. Whoa, uh, 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 I'm, I'm going to be rich. 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 <laughs> Are quite greedy blue. Okay, so we get to use a boat today and we're going to get to play this little game. So, using your boat, Bubs, you are going to follow along the yellow fish and you're going to count by fives as you go along. Okay? So, can you take your boat, put it on number five, and then go to the next fifth one? So, five, ten, wait, I think I know. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Good. Oh. <laughs> okay, now you're going to do the same thing, but with the blue fish. Ready? Start at 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> 30, yeah. That's right. Good job, baby. I can, can I pretend these are the list of the numbers? Sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 50. 60. So as you can see, he knows how to skip count fives higher than 30 because we do that in CC also um, as part of our memory work. All right. So now that was a lesson portion that takes um, my time with him. Um, this review here can be independent if I just explain it to him um, and then he kind of can do it on his own. Sometimes he will need my help, but for the most part, he can do these on his own. All right, Bubs, do you remember these tally marks? So let's look at these tally marks. So five plus three equals eight. Can you put, can you add up these two tally marks here for me? One, two. Good, now do the next one. So then you're just going to add in the missing numbers. So you're not skip counting, you're just adding in the numbers that are missing. So 15, 16, 17, yep. 
So I found that especially with my Solomon, most of the time if he understands what he needs to do, he works so much better when I'm not right there with him. And when I'm right beside him, he seems to get distracted and starts to act a little bit silly as you've probably seen in, earlier in the video. Okay, so the last thing you have here is color by number. Complete the problems, then color each section based on the chart. So what's five plus one? Six. Yep. So what color is six? I understand. You understand? All right. So when I feel like he's starting to get a little too silly, I just step back just enough so I don't distract him, but I can still hear him if he's reading and he knows that I'm there if he needs me. Now I've learned that that doesn't always work. <laughs> For example, with one of my other kids, if I leave her alone, then that's when she gets distracted. Um, so I usually have to stay with her to do the work or send her to a room that is very, very quiet so she can um, have less distraction. So every child is created differently and you just have to find what works best for each of your children. And that's one of the beauties of homeschool is that we have the freedom to do that. I only use the six and five, not the four, mm. not the three, not the two. Well, let's see. Yep, that's five, that's six, that's right. Yeah, you did it right, Bubs. Good job, high five. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Bubs. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that was it. That was a lesson from, <laughs> from the Good and the Beautifuls or the Simply Good and Beautiful um, Math Level 1. And all of the lessons are like that. They're just easy, they're simple, but they're beautiful. And they teach pretty well from what I can see. So we have been enjoying this math. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you are looking into getting this math, I know that levels one through five are free to download. So if you want to just download a lesson, any lesson you want, and see if this is going to work for you, then go ahead and do that. I know that um, the math activity box is pretty simple to put together. Also, I mean, you have a whiteboard, you have a magnetic board, you have some shapes, you know, you can always get little planes and stuff. So I know that that you can easily put that together, but then also um, you can get it on their website if you want to just get the math activity box by itself. And then you'd rather just print um, the course book on your own. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you know whenever new videos pop up. And also, let's be friends. Follow us over on Instagram at Dina underscore Pursuing Peace. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you are having a blessed day, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, and I am a homeschooling mama. <coughs> You. Cheese. I have something in my Shh. eye. Please say it's just the boogie in your eye. There are some hard boogies in your eye. <laughs> so that happens to me. It does. <laughs> All right, Bob. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> this is the camera. This is a camera. <laughs> huh? What do you mean you were blown away? <laughs> And Legos, I wish I had a bunch of Legos okay. to make a city out of them and more oh and more. I know the five. How do you know the five? Because I'm a pirate. <laughs> but five. Okay, I